The heat was gaining weight and the light had become more liquid in the heavy air, coming like a sluggish wave of morphine suffocating the Richmond Peninsula. Villeneuve was sitting on a chromium stool adjusting the focus of his telescope. The moisture had dampened the taut skin of his forehead with a fine spray of liquid sequins. His unkept hair hung in greasy snaking coils about his neck and his clothes clung to him, giving him the quality of a waxed model poised indefinitely in static mode. He remembered her tiptoeing down to the beach, dancing over the shingle as it cut into her bare feet. Her skin tinged blue like a fledgling bird. But now Chloe's appearance had changed so much that he could hardly remember the avian fragility of her past. For now she had woven weeds into her hair and tied rubbish to her body so that she had become a kind of mobile collage. She had a swathe of orange netting about her shoulders hung with an assortment of driftwood and when her face caught the light you could see fish scales glittering on her turmeric skin. She had tied cuttle bones and oyster shells to her ankles that clinked and rattled as she moved. But she hadn't lost the shrillness of her voice. For as she danced along the shoreline singing to herself, it was as though a lone gull was crying for its long-lost mother. <laughs>